a lot better than his, uh, his normal self has his uh, high spirits, so he's going uh, uh, I'm pretty sure he's going a lot better. That sounds like good news. Great news. Great news. And how much of a lift does that give you as a team? Huge, uh, you know what he does defensively and offensively, just uh, uh, bringing in a ton of energy. I mean, he's he's our energy guy, so um, you know when he's sick and doesn't have it, then that kind of hurts. When you went off yesterday, was there a sense that James is struggling, Pat's not feeling well, that there was even a greater need than in the previous games? Uh, I think even more so than like those two factors. I would just say it's an elimination game, you know, last game potentially of the season. So. I think that would probably uh, more a sense of urgency than anything else. How important is it for James to kind of get it back and get going again? Uh, it's important. It's important. Um, you know, uh, uh, he'll, he'll get there. Um, he's, uh, you know, he's working hard and uh, he's learning through everything. And, um, you know, uh, everyone, everyone struggled before and, and he'll be fine. So. It was a game that was more indicative of what we've seen out of you guys, especially in the second half of the season. To get your rhythm back, to defensively look a little bit more like you've had previous to the playoffs, how can that be when you go, okay, that's a game we know we um, I mean, I think uh, Coach McHale some of the best when he came in the locker room yesterday. He was kind of like, all right, um, we still haven't played our best game yet, but we're close. And I would say that's, that's a very accurate statement. Um, but, uh, you know, we know we're on the right path. You mentioned it had been a rough couple of days, but as a shooter, how can it help you when you can get that rhythm back in a game where the season is on the line and everything? It's everything. It's everything. Uh, just getting my flow, getting rhythm, getting confidence, getting... Um, seeing shots go in and, and um, getting to that point where it felt like, you know, um, you know I was, everything I was going to shoot was hopefully going to go in. That's kind of the feeling you always want to as a player. Did it take you a little while to get that mindset back after what had happened in game four? Uh, I mean, the day after was tough, the next day after was tough, but then uh, when game five came around, it was kind of just like, um, you know, back to game mode, new day, new opportunity. And uh, that's a good thing about, about uh, this the NBA playoffs versus, say, like an NCAA tournament where you don't get that opportunity a lot of times. How big has it been that White's been so good in this series? Huge. I mean, his efficiency, everything he's doing, dominating. I mean, he gives us a big mismatch down low. And, um, I mean, I couldn't even begin to tell you where we would be without that, right? Um, I think uh, he's kept us in every single ball game. Gary, how much has it been accomplished? Y'all you have one there in this series already lost. Um, I mean, that helps. Matter. I mean, at this point, it's not like, I mean, this, these playoffs are crazy. Yeah, you see road teams winning all the time. I mean, so, um, you know, it definitely helps, but it's, you know, I think I think we'd be confident regardless. Um, yeah. What does that say about home court advantage in this playoffs? <clears throat> uh, I, I guess this one, I don't actually know any of the numbers, but I would just say this is probably not normal in terms of how many home teams are losing. But um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. That's why you play the game, see what happens. After the game, Dwight said he keeps telling me Lynn Sand, Lynn Sand, and he wanted to watch the movie with you on the plane. What That's not happening. We're not watching it together. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know they had it on in the locker room a couple, like a week ago or something, so guys have been kind of making fun of me and, and stuff like that. So, uh, But we're not watching it together. Gary, yeah, well, you know how important the bench can be in the playoffs. To be a part of a bench that outscored Portland last game, maybe four to five. What does that say about where you guys were going to play? Uh, you know, I think the bench is important. I think, um, you know, starters can only play so many minutes. And so anytime you can get that extra boost, you know, that usually, if, if, if a team's bench has a great game, most of the time they'll probably win the game. Um, that gives them that extra edge and get, allows them to play more consistently over a 48 minute period. Jeremy, do you find that your teammates, your coaches, not just with you, but with everybody, are good at encouraging and keeping people's spirits up and having a good play? Yeah, we're a team. I mean, um, some teams aren't really teams. I would say this team is a team, and uh, we do take care of each other. We do support each other, and um, coaching staff down to the players. And I think, um, you know, I think that shows. And um, you know, when I'm not doing well, or when Chandler or Dwight or James, you know, guys will always go pick them up. When Pat's not doing well. People are always there for each other. Does it feel a certain way because the confidence in you is that they need you to play well? And again, not just with you, but with everybody. Not that they want you to play well. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. Uh, you're kind of backed against the wall. and um, At this point, we need every single contribution. And uh, Coach kind of talked about how yesterday everyone who stepped on the floor did their job. And um, 
when you're down through one, you, that's what you need. Do you feel like you sometimes get too much? Do you feel like sometimes you get too much criticism when you make a mistake and not enough praise when you have a good game? You're, you're, get that? I'm not really worried about it. I don't. I don't listen to it. I don't hear it. Um, I'm playing for God, and that's it. And it sounds cliche, but um, everything else on the outside stays on the outside with me. Jeremy, you